And when it comes to UTIs in women, one of the most common things is they'll take alternative treatments, cranberry juice, believe it or not. Cranberry juice from concentrate, they'll take supplements. But one of the key things, water. You're literally flushing all those bacteria out. The more water you drink, make sure you urinate. Women out there, urinate after sex, because that can put you at risk. Wipe front to back. And then last but not least, if you do develop chronic urinary tract infections, you may very well need antibiotics. And I want to I stress that for folks at home, if you struggle with these chronic infections and you have the symptoms, treatment often is with antibiotics. And without those, it can lead to a life-threatening illness. And this leads me to number three, and that is, do I need to modify my lifestyle until I'm better? So when you had your kidney infections, did you change anything that you were doing? Um, I had um, added more cranberry juice and yogurt, and uh, I do already drink a lot of water. Um, but yeah, I urinate after sex. And <laughs> it's you know what you laugh, but we could save ourselves a lot of trips yeah. to the ER, ladies, if we urinated within very soon after you have sex, because the activity of sex moves bacteria into your urethra. Mm -hmm. So it's a very smart thing. And the yogurt, you know what that does? It replaces. It adds good bacteria to your GI tract. Okay. So it, it, it changes the ratio of good to maybe infectious bacteria. So modify your lifestyle. If you have nausea and vomiting, you need to modify the things that you're eating and drinking. Avoid caffeine, alcohol, all those things. And question number four, if you're given medication, what are the side effects? What questions do you need to ask? Do I need to avoid alcohol? Do I need to take this with food and water? Can I drive when I'm taking this medication? Because sometimes it'll make you a little bit loopy. Yeah. And then certainly medications we give you, they can affect other medications you may be on. So ask all of those questions. Then last but not least, number five, when and how do I follow up? When you leave that ER, go home, have a friend take you, review with your friend, review with your spouse. What are the next steps? Because I've seen it time and time again. We'll send folks home. They'll feel a little bit better the next day. They'll ignore their follow-up appointment, and then they end up back in the ER three days later with something more serious. Well, thank you for thank sharing. You. Oh, we really appreciate it. <laughs>